Are you a fan of anime? Of course you are. Why else would you listen to me babble on about it? But, are you a fan of Gabriel Dropout? If not, you're missing one of the most entertaining and funny anime, at least in my opinion. But, don't worry, I'm gonna show you what makes this series so great. If you love watching anime facts and digging deep into their worlds, consider subscribing to this channel and press that bell icon so you get every update. Now let's move on. If you've been around my channel for a while now, you know that most of my videos are more on the serious side rather than the comedy side, but there is still a part of me that is a huge comedy fan, and this anime has been one of my favorites since it came out back in 2013. There's not a lot of anime out these days that's meant to be very funny. We have the Shonen series that's making its impact, we have the Shoujo series making its impact, but sometimes you just want to have a good fucking laugh. They just have an inclination to be a little more serious with other twists in films, so most of the manga and all of the anime projects that are released lately have a very thoughtful undertone. This one, however, Gabriel Dropout that is, surely has its serious instance and other thrills, but it also has some fun moments that will have you on the floor laughing and enjoying great content pretty much for everybody who views it. So we can say that the creator takes entertainment in a thrilling way with many fun elements added to it which attracts many more viewers despite how old it is. Also, it's Moe, so who doesn't like that? Even though it was oversaturated for a while, we all still love cute anime girls. So, moving on now, the story is about some angels that attend school in heaven. They learn how to be angels there. Though, in order to finish their training, they have to come to Earth and should learn how to work one-on-one -on -one with other people. This is their procedure of high school. This is what the plot centers around. As the chief character was at the head of her whole class in heaven, this being Gabriel, and now she has to make alterations as she begins working with people on Earth. The series has been accepted in English by Yen Press, and it is widely accepted by many people around the world, probably because it's so fucking hilarious. And it's really goddamn irritating and disappointing when every time I bring up Gabriel Dropout, nobody seems to know what the hell I'm talking about. At least, the people that I've talked to. So if you guys have seen it, I'm proud of you. But we're gonna keep talking about Gabriel Dropout right now, because that's what this video is centered around. And I love it, so bear with me here. Gabriel Dropout was prevalent the day it was released and is still prevalent to this day, which if you don't know what that word means, because I barely knew what it meant when I said it, but it means, you know, it's still popping. It's still popular. But if anything else, its admiration has increased by leaps and bounds, more or less, at least in my heart. That's saying a lot, because a lot of people, including myself, tend to be interested in something when it's new rather than when it's getting older and ages over time. But that really hasn't been the case here for this series. You see, Ukami began to serialize the manga series in the ASC2 Media Works manga magazine named Nkeki G, and I might be mispronouncing that, but bear with me. But he began serializing it on December 27th in the year of 2013, where it was available every other month. Starting on April 28th in the year 2014, the series got switched to a monthly journal. So far though, it has 9 compiled volumes as of February 25th, like this year. So, you know, I'm still gonna be reading it, rereading it, watching it, like I have been. A little more on the plot of the story, as soon as Gabriel gets back to Earth, she gets diverted by video games, even though there are many other things that she should be doing. In its place, doing her job and working with all the other people to help guide them and have the optimistic impact on their lives. But that's not how it works. She's continually locked up in her room, all by herself, and there, guess what she's doing? Playing more video games. She's putting the whole thing that she's ever worked for her whole life at risk, and much of the story centers around her own daily struggles. And like me and Gabriel, I put a lot of stuff off for the sake of video games. And maybe you guys do too. Let me know in the comments. Are you a procrastinator like me? Let's move on. But there's also a spin-off series named Tapris Sugar Step that emphasizes the main character, this time being Tapris. We're hoping that this title just keeps getting more popular over time. It's good news seeing the fact that it is getting more popular over time since the manga is still being created. In realism, it seems the sky is the limit with this title. 
title. Dreading that Zalil might destroy the world if she learns she has become a fallen angel, Gabriel's efforts to appease her by acting like a model sister, this plan fails of course, as Zalil was previously aware of Gabriel's wrongdoings. After a week of plain punishment, Gabriel revenues back to the school that she used to as the model angel she used to be, before, you know, her video game habit. Finding that they prefer Gabriel, of course, the others try to change her back, only to learn she was putting on a performance in front of Zalil. When Zalil finds out this ploy, she anticipates moving in with Gabriel, allowing Gabriel to continue her life in peace, and it goes like this, with admiration of course. I wish somebody would do that for me. Because of the increasing popularity of Gabriel Dropout, we can assume that more projects will be released in the future, at least, I hope so. They might consist of a movie, or other seasons of the same name, being like another season of Gabriel Dropout. While nothing's really set in stone at this point in time, at least I think, there's no reason that there wouldn't be additional projects on the way. When you reflect on the popularity of the title itself. So many projects will be released in the future and all the fans are eagerly waiting to view this as this has already gained a lot of fans, including myself, if you can't tell. The story is liked by people of all ages and in the future, hopefully it'll still be as popular and people will still continue to have love for Gabriel Dropout. This anime is definitely a great hit as it's come to a great thrill and it, it's still fucking hilarious. So Gabriel Dropout fans, drop a comment and let me know the name of an anime that you like most. If you enjoyed this video, please tap that thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon. I know this wasn't the best quality video that I've made in the past and in the future, I just wanted to make a video about Gabriel Dropout. Is that so bad? I want to see if people still remember it. With that being said, I'm Broken Obsessed in My Otaku Ways, and I will see you lovely people next time. Forgot there was an